I picked this up in uh, Mailbag 42-ish. Uh, it costs $2.49 and it's time to tear it apart and see what's inside it. I have seen other videos on these, but this one actually has a battery uh, built into it, whereas the other one I saw didn't. So hopefully it won't uh, short out. And apparently the battery is a 250 milliamp hour something. So let's pop it open. Ah, there we go. Well, that seems to be the same way as that other one was built. Very sticky there. Just going to put that out of the way. Uh, it looks like it's the same type of construction from that other one. Uh, two end pieces and a centerpiece. So, let's see if it's going to come out nicely. Nope, it's not going to come out nicely. It wants to cause problems. Oh, there we go. And yeah, maybe I should have drained the batteries on it first. There's the centerpiece. Of course, this is more colorful this way. So what's happening is a as I push down on it, uh, the button on the back side is switching modes around on me. Oh. Let's find something to get underneath there. Yeah, well, maybe not. Come on, you can do it. Oh, don't want to bend this thing. Eh, don't want to break it either. This is supposed to be non-destructive. There we go. And it's no longer non-destructive. I might be able to fix that. Popped one out. If I get underneath it. There we go. And it looks like I popped another one out too. Okay. Shall see if I can fix that. Did it on both ends. Not good. Okay. Oh. That's falling out pretty easy. There we go. There's the little buttons. So we got the buttons on this end. We've got a battery which is glued on. It looks like it's got felt underneath there. We have mystery chip. Well, it says it's a 16-bit arm, 8-pin, and there's the circuitry, and there's the microphone. So I'm going to take a few moments and uh, take a look at this. So obviously things didn't go as planned. Uh, this is the important end. The data is coming in through this via here to that pin there. Uh, this pin here is ground. Data out is that one, which is also fully detached. And the power is to this one. So, what I'm going to need to do is uh, bridge across here to get the ground connected up. And then I'm willing to sacrifice one LED. Uh, I'm going to have to try to scrape this a bit clean, scrape across to here, put a little bridge, and then this will be the first uh, LED in the chain. Not sure what that's going to do... Um, with the program since it probably expects more LEDs and I've also lost two at the other end. Oh well, some days are like that. 
and I won't be doing the soldering underneath the camera. I just have no hope of doing it like that. I'm going to have to get my nose right up to this thing. So I've scraped the copper away on those two spots, and now I'll do the two bridges. So now that I've got this end bridged so that the signal is coming in and I've removed the extra one, yeah, that's what it was, extra LED at the far end, it is now uh, working. And I've got three spare parts, not too bad. Uh, this definitely didn't go the way I had hoped. But now let's take a look at the circuit. So here's the circuit. <laughs> We've got the lithium-ion battery here. I can't see any protection on it. Uh, we have the little microcontroller here. Decoupling capacitor for it. Of course, fully erased. We have some uh, NPN transistors. J, 3, Y. Another one here. And here, I believe, is... Um, power supply. It's an LPS 1CD, so it's probably one of those low dropout ones. Up here we have the microphone. It's a 2718F, so it's a memes uh, microphone. Okay, a little hole there probably is a good indication too. Over here we have a 8215. I think that's an NPN transistor. Then up here we have a LP4054. Which I forgot to look up and I just did. It's a 600 milliamp standalone lithium ion battery charger. Hence it's taking the juice from here and getting it over to the battery. I'll put the diagram in the corner there if I can. Then on this side here we've got a diode and then two more um, transistors or not transistors. There's an A2 uh, SHB N channel enhanced MOSFET. And then the other one is an A1 SHB P channel enhanced MOSFET. So that's it for uh, all the parts. And now I'm going to have to try to put this thing back together. And time to reassemble it. Some buttons! This piece in here, that goes at that end. That just drops in quite nicely. I did have to take a little notch out of there so that everything would fit. That goes there. That goes there. And that one goes there. And this ideally, let's see why. Should have just slapped in. Hmm. Ah, that's why. There it goes quite nicely. And then the sticky part goes on here. That looks good. Power, hold for about three or four seconds. And it's back working. With its little stand. And I've got three spare parts from it. Woohoo! Oh well, some days are like this. Well, have a good one. <laughs> Bye.